Okay, we got the ATI back finally. Um, only took like two months to get it back. And I was kind of disappointed. There wasn't any cool stuff in the box. No stickers or like an explanation of the problem or anything. The gun literally just came in a box by itself. Um, and it is a different lower completely. There's a different um, serial number on here. Because there was no way to repair the old one. But uh, you can see the pin works like it's supposed to. It's pretty stiff uh, front and back, but they both work. And the hole is not walled out like it was before on either side. So that is cool. I'm going to go ahead and um, oil this thing up and go over it. Maybe do a trigger pull on it. See what it weighs. Um, I did put it on the scale, and the whole gun weighs um, six and a half pounds. I think it was uh, six and a half pounds and seven eighths of an ounce. So um, pretty standard. I mean, not not as light as you think it would be with the polymer upper and lower. Uh, but this front end is pretty heavy. It's got that big old giant gas block on it, um, and this uh, this guard here is not the lightest. So. Pull the bolt out and see. It looks like this thing is bone dry from the factory. I did notice a little bit of drag here. Um, putting this in, and they have a little tab. Hopefully, you can see that tab sticking up right there to where the uh, claw locks into place. It's a little bit different than the way a regular AR upper would work, but I guess it's one of the things they had to change with polymer. So, you'll notice when this goes forward, it feels a little different. You have to give it a little bit extra pressure. Um, but I kind of showed this in the other video. I'll give you guys another look. You can see the metal reinforcements here for the uh, uh, for the pivot pin, and then metal here. I don't think there's any more. I think that's it. There's a good look down the inside there. All polymer in here. The uh, forward assist is functional. I don't know if you can see that in there, but forward assist works like it should. Pretty cool. The barrel ramps, or sorry, the bullet feed ramps look really good in there. Better than some of the Bear Creek stuff, so we know the barrel is a little bit better quality. Uh, this one is a 1 and 8 twist. I think that's the only barrel twist that you can get, the NATO profile, 1 and 8 twist. But um, everything looks all right. The uh, gas block looks like it's straight, not like some of the other, um, you know, budget AR-15 uppers I've seen where it'll be like canted a little bit. So that's cool. That looks good, and everything looks like it's aligned here really well. Um, all the rails are aligned. It looks like we have a same same plane right here with the front gas block. So if you wanted to put a uh, you know metal backup sight or something like that on there, you could do that. So that's cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oil this thing up. And then we'll uh, test the trigger pull on it. I guess you really don't need as much oil on this as you would a metal metal receiver. All right, back to the back to the video. Let's take the sucker apart. See how the uh, gas rings look. There's some kind of grease on here. I think it's grease. Yeah, some kind of grease is on there. So that's good. It's not super dry. Gas rings all look fine. It's like a really dark, really dark gray grease. Cam pin looks cool. All right. All this stuff looks good. So 
same grease all over the firing pin. I guess we'll leave it on there. So, bolt feels pretty good. Loop up these rails. Yeah, I'm curious to see how the uh, polymer on the inside, like, how it's going to last, if it's going to wear off on the bolt. Pretty excited to see how all that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and put a few drops of oil down there on that metal uh, reinforcement. You can see where the uh, pivot pin has been rubbing on it, so put a little bit in there. And I guess I'm not going to put any oil in the rest of the upper here because it's plastic. Looks good down the barrel. I'll go ahead and run a uh, bore snake through it just for the heck of it. Drops oil down there. Cool. Looks good, nice and clean. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't notice this before. All right, charging handle normally goes in like this and then up. There's a notch, but this one doesn't. It just goes straight into place. It looks like a standard charging handle, so that's kind of interesting. So a charging handle just goes straight in from the back. Never seen one like that. Cool. Put a little drop of oil on the face of the hammer and then leave the rest of the internals dry. And put some oil on these takedown pins because they were kind of hard. It still seems like there's a little bit of wiggle room here on this one. I had to kind of wiggle the pin a little bit to get it to line up, but I think that's fine. All right. A whole lot quieter now with some oil on it. Take a trigger pull reading, and that'll be it for this video. Um, the next one will be a video of us uh, shooting it. Five and a half pounds.
five and a half pounds. So that's pretty good. That's pretty um, standard. I've actually seen a whole lot worse for mil spec uh, fire control groups. So there you go. Stay tuned for a shooting video and uh, we'll see how it does.